Trapping is not easy. In fact, to be really good, you have to work hard at it. Willie Bean knows what it takes and shares some trapping wisdom that could take years off a beginner's learning curve. It is not no one big scenario or whatever to catch an animal. It's just little things that you've learned and picked up over the years that what makes the big thing happen. That it's like deer hunting or turkey hunting. Anybody tells you that they know it all, turn around and walk off because they telling you a bigger because they don't. I've been at this trapping game for 50 years. Proud of every year I've trapped. And I still learn every year. What I'm setting here is a 280. A heap of folks, they use 330s. But all I have is 280s. I mean, I use them on beaver and otter and all water animals like that. Zone down and see if we got another place for a couple of more or one or whatever. Go on and knock that out and see if we can help Coors out on his beaver and his auto problem. That limb that's over the trap, that's a dive limb. I have a dive limb over 90% of the conner bears I set out in water. That's to let the animal, when he's coming up to the trap, instead of hitting the trap on top or trying to climb over it, he'll see that limb laying there and he'll dive under it and hit the triggers and that's gonna be it. All right, I've got a lure here that I make the main ingredient in it is castor, which it's got two or three other ingredients in it. But now that beaver, he's coming up his main run here. He might not turn in here if he didn't have any reason to. But with that scent of another beaver when he gets up to here, he's going to turn in to see where that scent's at because they don't like other beaver in their territory. They're a real territorial animal. We go load up and go a little bit further down, see if we can't find another good spot down there and it's set another trap. One thing that I do on any killer trap, I use one of these jaw safeties. A heap of folks don't, which I'm, I mean, that's fine, but it's just everybody to their own self, but that's just a little bit more protection and safety because one of these things accidentally fires on your hand or your finger and it hurts. We just go ease it down in there and kind of get it where it'll halfway be healed a little bit. A heap of folks would bypass a little stream like this here. But I catch about as many otter in these little ditches, streams, or whatever you want to call them, especially if they're going up to a pool or a body of water that might have fish or whatever around them because they know where the food's at, and I mean, they go be there. The state law is you check every 24 hours, so sometime tomorrow, I'll be back and check these sets here, and hopefully that we'll have a beaver or otter one in it. All right, fellas, we had our first set that we set yesterday. 
after just a good cold night last night, I hope everything run or something run anyhow. And we go uh, get off and check these sets in and see if we got anything. Yeah, all right. All right. But this is what we're after here now. Oh yeah, well, I think we got a pretty good one here, fellas. Got a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a nice sized beaver there now. We go load him up and get on out of here and set the trap back and go check the others and hope that we got one or two more anyhow, hopefully. We go head over here and check this next set and hope we have as good a look on it as the last one. It's something similar on the same run, but it's a little offset. But then my offsets over a heap of times that they travel them offsets instead of going in behind each other. And oh yeah, all right, fellas. We done looked out again. Let me get this thing off. We done looked out again here. Not too bad. Not quite as big as the other one. But uh, this may be the male here. And the other one was the female. another set. Well, here's our last beaver set. No, we ain't got a beaver. We got an otter here. Mr. Cuz will be glad over this because this little stream here comes right up to his pool there. People folks don't realize it, but otter will eat near about his weight every day in fish or some kind of crawfish, but they love fish out of a pool. All right, let's go on and get this fella out of the trap now. And that'll be a mighty good day right here. You doing okay this evening? Doing, Mr. Willie? Everything good? Doing fine, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope we helped you out a little bit. Golly! Oh, that's a pretty good size. Holy cow, look at that thing. That, that auto there, he will probably eat 18 pounds of fish a day. That thing is huge, and you caught beavers too. We got, oh, we got uh, some of your... I'm sorry, rascals. Oh, uh, limb cutters. Yeah, big time. Holy cow, that thing there looks like a wild hog laying in there. That thing's huge. It's pretty good size. It's pretty good size. Golly. Mr. Willie, I can't thank you enough. This is something I don't know nothing about. It makes the place better. I appreciate you doing it.